library. But what if you weren't quiet in a library? This is a story about a not-so-quiet library by Zachariah Ohora. Let's see. Every Saturday, Oscar and Theodore got up bright and early not to watch cartoons or play outside with their friends. It was a day they went to the library with their dad. Dad always said that a day of quiet exploration required a proper breakfast. At the library, Theodore and Oscar returned their old books, waved to Miss Watson, and crept past pickled onion Mr. Tasker. They headed down to the children's department while Dad headed up to the nap department. Oscar and Theodore just settling into another quiet library day when... Knock it off, Theodore. It's not me! It appeared there was a monster in the library. There's a monster in the library. I told you it wasn't me. They couldn't outrun the monster, so they tried hiding. They tried bluffing. You better not mess with us, monster. My brother knows kung fu. He? Yeah, right! They even tried trapping the monster. But that just made him angrier. The only option left was diplomacy. Excuse me, Mr. Monster. Is something wrong? Yeah, yeah there's, there's something, something wrong. wrong. We hate books. The many-headed monster had tried everything to make books taste good. Seymour topped his with whipped cream. This book tastes terrible. Chuck tried mustard. Yuck. Winston swallowed his book whole. Pat tried hot sauce. <laughs> Bob used sprinkles, but they just bounced off. Should have picked a soft cover. Actually, books are for reading. What? You mean this whole restaurant is filled with things we can't eat? Donuts! Perfect. You guys will taste great with donuts on top. Yum, yum. Thankfully, Mrs. Watson stepped in. Story time, everyone. Please sit. Crisscross applesauce. Applesauce? I like applesauce. Mmm, story time. Sounds tasty. Luckily, monsters like story time as much as they like donuts. Sorry about the whole we're gonna eat you thing. That was just a low blood sugar talking. I don't know what's better, this book or this donut. Books sound so much better than they taste. This one next, please. After story time, the monsters promised to clean up the library. Besides, Miss Watson could really use some help reaching the high shelves. The boys promised to return for story time every Saturday. After Bob, Seymour, Winston, Pat, and Chuck promised not to eat them. And that's how the not-so-quiet library became quiet again. How did you know that monsters love donuts? I read it in a book. Well, I guess you didn't expect that, that monsters like donuts. Till next time, this is Peter with the Miami Children's Museum Theater Troupe.